why is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talking about myself? And why is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talking about you? Or why is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talking about us in front of the angels? Now this is a question that the Mufassirun they raise in the Kitab Tafsir, Tafasir, in the books of the commentaries of the Quran. And they answer really beautifully. They say that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intended to create myself, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intended to create you, or more precisely and specifically Adam alayhi salatu wasalam, the malaika had a problem. And they said, why do you want to create to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala certain creatures that will cause mischief and bloodshed on the world? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then ends the discussion by saying that what I know you do not know. And therefore Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala went on and he created Adam alayhi salatu wasalam and from his progeny Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us. So when we sit as human beings to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we sit to think about our position, when we think and we start pondering and taking stock of our life, that how close have we been or got to, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or if it Allah save us, be it the other way, how far are we away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? When we sit and do that act, exact a'mal, that particular action, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses that to prove the angels, the malaika wrong. That you said that these creatures are going to cause mischief and bloodshed, but here they are remembering me in the masjid. And that is why in the, this particular hadith of dhikr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, mentioned that the third benefit of a gathering of dhikr is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks highly about those people that are participating in the gathering of dhikr in front of the malaika.